Hello everyone, today we'll continue our series of History of Magic the Gathering. If you have missed some videos in this series, I am leaving a link in the description below so you can watch the other videos of this series. Today we'll be looking into Unlimited and Revised Editions. Unlimited Edition it is considered as the second edition in the sets of Magic the Gathering. Alpha and Beta are considered as the first edition. And Unlimited Edition is the second set of the game. Unlimited Edition are recognized by the title of Unlimited Edition on the booster boxes. And it is estimated that the print run of Unlimited is around 40 million cards. The booster boxes, as you can see, they are identified by the word Unlimited Edition, by the code WC16500, and the seal. They have a circle seal and no logo on the seal of the box. The set featured most cards available in Alpha and Beta, especially the Black Lotus and the Power 9 cards. Another feature of this set is the white border. Alpha and Beta had a black border, while these cards had a white border. Above the Power 9, we also had the Dual Lens printed in the set and some famous cards from this set we have Demonic Tutor, Wheel of Fortune and the Mana Vault. When this set ran out because the print run was very low, Wizard of the Coast issued the third edition of the core set, the revised edition. The revised edition is identified with the title of revised edition on the booster box and they are they are very similar to unlimited but there is a difference between one card and the other. As you can see the left hand side card balance it's a unlimited edition card, white border, and the right hand side, Armageddon, is a revised version card. The only difference you can see in these two cards is the card frame, where one has a double card frame like a 3D effect and the other does not. This is the only way that you can identify an unlimited to a revised edition card. Also, as you can see, both sets didn't have no expansion symbol or and no rarity symbol. Revised edition, Wizard of the Coast tried to mitigate the problem of the print run and there is an estimation that the print run is around 5 million cards, 500 million cards. This solved the problem of the distribution and the demand for these cards. The revised edition didn't feature the Power 9 nor the Black Lotus, but they featured the Dual Lens and some famous cards that we are still playing today, Red of God, Copy Artifact, Fork and one of my favorite cards bird of paradise i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment below click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about magic the gathering thank you very much